there is my delicious ribeye steak cooked medium rare with a potato with gorgonzola butter, regular butter, and sour cream with chives on top. But before I take a bite of this delicious looking steak, I have some breaking news to break to you people. The breaking news is, astonishingly, Humboldt County, California, where I live and where I am right now, just became the only county in the entirety of the entire state of California to allow indoor dining at restaurants. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am at a restaurant. <laughs> Did you see that, people? When I heard that restaurants in Humboldt County, California were opening up for indoor dining today, I decided to do what any stupid and irresponsible YouTuber would do and go to one. So I put on a cute outfit grabbed both of my iPhones so I can pretend to be going there as a food vlogger, not somebody there to criticize the fact that they're open during the COVID-19 pandemic. And now I'm going to head off to a restaurant. This restaurant, AA Bar and Grill, which is across the street from the county jail in Eureka, California, which was featured in this article in the Lost Coast Outpost, a local Humboldt County newspaper, which says that <laughs> on Wednesday, Humboldt County officially became the only place in California where people are allowed to dine at restaurants indoors. And this is because Humboldt County has been moved from the purple tier to the red tier, Apparently, though, when Governor Gavin Newsom announced this on Tuesday, the owner of the AA Bar and Grill decided to reopen the restaurant immediately instead of waiting for Wednesday. He called it a late Christmas present in a Facebook post, which I will show you in a moment. There is the jubilant post, people. And he said that he probably shouldn't have done that, but reasoned that the governor's orders may as well take effect on the day they're announced, saying, I don't see why we needed to wait a day. So without further ado, let's check out my dining experience at the AA Bar and Grill and see just how much they're bending the rules. <laughs> Well, people, I guess I can take this off my ear now and put it in my purse. I have just ordered a ribeye steak and a side salad at this very busy restaurant. And this is a cranberry juice. I'm definitely not going to drink alcohol and drive by myself in the dark on New Year's. And here is the bar. I stole someone's seat. There's my salad, which I ordered without the normal croutons because I'm allergic to food. I took pictures of the salad, then, like food vloggers do, proclaimed it to be the best thing I had ever eaten. I'm frying the salad now. First, I'm going to try a tomato. 
covered in blue cheese dressing. Mmm, that's a delicious tomato. Now I'm going to try some lettuce. Mm. Suddenly, I realized that everybody in the restaurant, other than me, was there to party as though it was December 31st, 2019, not 2020, and they might as well have been having a COVID-19 party. And then my steak arrived. And here's my steak. It is supposed to be medium rare. I will see how well or not well done it is when I cut into it. There is my delicious ribeye steak cooked medium rare with a potato with gorgonzola butter, regular butter, and sour cream with chives on top. But before I take a bite of this delicious looking steak, I have some breaking news to break to you people. The breaking news is, astonishingly, Humboldt County, California, where I live and where I am right now, just became the only county in the entirety of the entire state of California to allow indoor dining at restaurants. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am at a restaurant. <laughs> Did you see that, people? The guy who just walked behind me is like the only person other than the staff that I've seen wearing a mask in here for the entire time I've been in here. And I am about to eat ribeye steak. Because the steakhouse is like one of the only restaurants open in Humboldt County, California for indoor dining. Therefore, one of the only restaurants in the entirety of the entire state of California open for indoor dining. Anyway, without further ado, I am going to try this steak. Mmm! It's actually really good, and I'm not just pretending that it's really good like I was pretending that the salad was like some amazing delicious salad earlier. It actually is really good and really tender. The only reason I appear to have a hard time chewing it is that I need to go to a dentist. Um, I'll be going to a dentist on February 1st if they're not all closed due to something I'm not going to mention while I'm inside this restaurant because I don't think they know it exists and I don't want to scare them. I'm now going to try a bite of this delicious looking mashed potato. I'm going to make sure to get regular butter, gorgonzola butter, and cream cheese and chives onto my bite. That's good. And don't believe me, just watch as I gobble up this entire thing. I am now leaving this restaurant and bar. This is the bathroom. There's a men's and a women's area. There's also an outside dining area that they sometimes use. Apparently they're not using it today. And an area where people are smoking outside a back door. Hey Adrian, how was it? Did you wind up getting the steak and green beans? No. I didn't get the steak and the green beans because the green beans are deep fried. But what? instead of getting the steak and the green beans, I might have gotten the steak and COVID-19. What? <laughs> I'll show you videos of how Are you positive? That place Are was. you positive? Because I read an article this morning saying that the CDC said that 
if you're in a room with five people, it's likely that one has COVID-19 right now. So I was in a room with like 30 Kira! or 40 customers. So is this what you were watching with Evelyn while I was gone? Yep, Scream 3. Scream 3? Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no! People, I didn't go to that restaurant because I wanted to eat an overpriced, unchewable steak. Or because I wanted to drink at a bar with my friends and have fun on New Year's. It's because you want to be positive. No, I don't want to be positive for COVID-19 either. I went to that restaurant and risked becoming positive for COVID-19 to show you people what you shouldn't do and why you shouldn't do it. Okay? Like every single other person in that restaurant other than me, probably goes out to restaurants like that all the time. And if they didn't get COVID-19 tonight or spread it to somebody tonight, well, then it's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. Like, it's going to happen eventually. Like, by today. Oh, my gosh, I'm actually going to have to look it up because I haven't looked it up today. Hang on a minute, people, while I look it up. Hold your horses. Okay, people, I'm back. As of two days ago, which is the most recent that I could find the numbers for, there had been 335,051 deaths of COVID-19. Can you remember the number 335,051 for a moment? And that number does not include the 3,740 people who died of it today. So we're going to add 335,051 to 3,740. That equals 338,791 people. Now, since the U.S. has a population of 331 million people, I am going to divide... 331 million by 338,791. So there's 331 million. I'm going to divide it by. Did it register? Yes, it did. 338,791. All right, so what this number means is that by today, one out of every 977 Americans have died of COVID-19 so far. A few days ago, one out of every 1,000 Americans had died of COVID-19 so far. Do you see the problem yet, people? Also, a few days ago, when one out of every 1,000 Americans had died of COVID-19 so far, one out of every 17 had had it or did currently have it. I'm not going to calculate how many Americans have had it or currently have it, but I guarantee you it's a number higher than 17. For this reason, I do not think that any county in California should be placed on a different tier and allowed to operate like COVID-19 doesn't exist. Humboldt County, California is completely surrounded by purple tier counties, which means that they have more COVID-19 cases than red tier counties, like the one we are in, which I think is the only one in California that's not purple right now. And that's the only reason that that restaurant is allowed to be open, but they're still not supposed to have that many people in there. And they're still supposed to make people wear masks when they're waiting for their food or getting up from their tables. And the waitresses and cooks are still supposed to be wearing masks like over or not under their noses. 
there is a map showing what I'm talking about from this news article in the North Coast Journal. As you can see, Humboldt County is now in the red zone, but we're completely surrounded by purple. And as this article, also in the North Coast Journal, explains, the COVID-19 surge officials and me have long warned of is now upon Humboldt County, California. And it also explains how they used numbers, not logic, to move Humboldt County to the red, not purple tier, allowing things like that restaurant to reopen for limited indoor operations and why this doesn't make any sense at all. I will put links to all of these articles in the description of this video. So instead of me having to read you all the good parts and take video clips of them, you can just read them for yourselves. So even though they're technically allowed to be open, they're like really not allowed to be open like that, people. And by the way, people, that was like really totally like culture shock to me. I was like completely shocked, like completely. I'm sure some of you go to restaurants like that every day. And I think I might have already said that that was like culture shock to me earlier, but I'm just still really shocked. That's why I went in there pretending to be a food vlogger and pretending that their salad made of like iceberg lettuce and tomatoes from Cisco Foods was like delicious and <laughs> taking pictures of my food from all different angles. And by the way, the people who were sitting very close to me were like giving me funny looks and wondering what I was doing. But really people, do not do what I did in this video. Do not go into a restaurant and eat indoors right now. And if you absolutely, just absolutely have to go into a restaurant and eat indoors, go to one that has like the tables 10 feet apart and has taken out like most of the seats from their bar and one where the staff are wearing masks all the time and wearing them properly and just Go to a restaurant that's like not like the one in the video I filmed today. What I filmed happening in that restaurant is exactly why the CDC told people not to have New Year's Eve parties and not to drink alcohol at New Year's Eve parties if they did for some reason have to have them. Because once those people got drunk, they just started like laughing and hugging and eating with their hands and putting their fingers in their mouths and coughing into their hands and touching everything. And even though they wiped the bar top that people were eating off of and drinking off of like a little bit with like a wet rag, it was like a dirty wet rag. And when she took my cranberry juice to refill it, she took it just right out of my hand, refilled it, and handed it right back to me. And I had like my mouth on the straw and had touched my mouth and touched the cup. So germs, possibly COVID-19 maybe from my mouth got all over the cup. And who knows who else's germs were on her hands when she did that. So please do not do what I did in this video. The only reason that I put myself at risk of catching COVID-19 is so somebody else might not catch it. And hopefully that somebody else will be you. And with that said, I am now going to end this video and get ready to celebrate New Year's at home with my family. Please like this video, share this video, watch my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to help me to make more videos, you can help me by donating money to me on Patreon or other sites or buying things for me off of Amazon or other sites. Thank you for watching. Bye, people.